guys, it's Lauren and welcome back to my channel for the love of if you are joining me for the first time I want to say welcome and thank you for taking the time to click on this empties haul from Bath and Body Works And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber welcome back So you guys it just dawned on me that I have never done an empties video I do reviews on products. I've used mostly candles, but I've never actually taken the time to save like my empty soaps and wallflowers and followed up on them so I figured that for the month of April, I would do an empties video for candles, wallflowers, and soaps. I do have some body care as well, but that would make for a very, very long video. I'm already filming this for a second time because my first one was way too long. So if you're interested in body care um, empty video, comment down below and I can do that for you guys as well. So let's just dive right into it. So these are all products I've used in the past month mainly actually i guess there's about an equal amount of all of them let's dive into soaps first so first and foremost this is the gentle exfoliating hand soap fiji white sands with manoli oil you guys i fell in love with the i guess you could say new style of bath and body works exfoliating soaps this past fall i was not a fan of the old style exfoliating when they used to have like the coordinating foam with the exfoliating like beads in them it was pretty much liquid soap with very small amount of exfoliants and it really didn't do the job i tried this style in the fall i think it was winter white woods and i absolutely loved it so the thing that this particular soap has that the old exfoliating soaps doesn't is i wonder if it'll show up it won't I believe it has pumice in it, very finely ground pumice stones. It does, it says formulated with pumice. Let's see, this daily soap is specially formulated with pumice, keeping hands feeling silky. I used this in my kitchen and I absolutely loved it. So I knew that I liked the one I had tried before. So I grabbed the Fiji White Sands version, which is really nice for summer. I love Fiji White Sands. It's such a pretty scent. I actually tried to do my home for home fragrance in Fiji White Sands a couple years ago. The candles just didn't throw, so next best thing is the soap. Would I purchase this again? Absolutely. I love these for the kitchen. If you're looking for a good exfoliating hand soap, snag this style of soap. Now the other one I have that I grabbed in Fiji White Sands was the liquid soap. I kind of have to admit I got this for the aesthetic of it. The color matches with my bathroom. Um, did I notice any difference with the Manoli oil added to it? Not really. Just a really great scented hand soap. The one thing about Bath & Body Works soaps, and those of you who are huge Bath & Body Works soap fans, once you use Bath & Body Works soap, you kind of can't go back. I know in the past when I've been in a bind, I've grabbed different soaps from various companies or maybe at like Target or Walmart or the dollar store. And the scent just does not stay like Bath & Body Works. So this one was really nice. Um, the scent lingered on my hands and it's just such a beautiful scent. Cute packaging. Would I purchase this again? Absolutely. Since this scent is versatile for summer, I'll probably be grabbing more of this as well. Now the other two are more floral based. Since I'm it's springtime, I'm doing floral scents. I had to grab a French lavender. I love French lavender. If you guys want a stronger kind of floral type soap, I would go with this one. They do have this scent year round. I also want to note that they now have coconut oil. I think they've had that for about a year or so now. Have I noticed the difference with the added coconut oil in moisturization or anything? Not really. I usually gravitate towards the foaming soaps just because, um, I don't know, they're not as messy. <laughs> I do like the exfoliating for the kitchen, but I usually will do the foam. Really nice scent though. It was um, a very strong scent. I haven't used the lavender in quite a while, so it was nice to be able to use that. I think I got all these when they had that $3 promotion, if I'm not mistaken. And then my favorite one so far this spring though, I absolutely love First Bloom. This was such a pretty, fragrance. It says with white tea and ginseng extract. If you're not a fan of ginseng, do not let that deter you. I saw ginseng and I was like, eh, I don't really want it to smell like ginseng. It doesn't. It's just a beautiful, crisp, fresh floral fragrance. 
for those of you who have used Bath and Body Works soaps um, in the past, do you guys remember last spring they had like a pink peony petal or a pe pink peony, something like that? They had it last spring and the spring before. I don't do too many soap reviews, so I don't know if I ever mentioned it, but I loved that fragrance. It was so, so pretty. I stocked up on them during semi-annual sale, and I've never been able to find one that smells you know, quite like that, and I don't think they brought that back this year. This is the closest I could find. The notes are peony petals, lily, and green grass. If you want a nice, fresh floral soap that just lingers on your skin, oh, this one's so pretty. This one's actually not an empty, it's my backup because I tossed the empty one. So this one's actually going to be going right into the bathroom as soon as I'm done with this video. I love this scent. I really wish they would have come out with a candle in this fragrance. I definitely would have purchased it. So really, really nice scent on that. That is it for the soaps. I'm going to dive into, let's see, I have some candles and wallflowers left. I'm going to dive into the wallflowers after this just because... Um, in my candle reviews, I know I did talk about the wallflowers that I'm going to be going over, but I didn't go over them for how long I've been using them. When I did the reviews that are up, you know, now or the ones that will be posted, I really just went off of, you know, the first couple weeks or so. So this is going to go over the longevity of them for this past month. So the ones that I used this past month are Rosewater and Ivy which is such a pretty fragrance. Rosewater Ivy, which is what I have going back here. I also have Honeysuckle and Freesia. This was a new one, I believe. This one was really nice. And then of course, Fresh Cut Lilacs. So in regards to the Rosewater and Ivy, when I first plugged it in the first couple weeks, it was a really pretty scent. I could smell it. Not the strongest throwing wallflower I've used, but I definitely got a decent amount of longevity. But once it hit that, you know, halfway mark, a little bit below halfway, it really dwindled down. I can't smell them too, too much. As you can see, the ones behind me, most of the ones in my house right now are at that point. I really have to get kind of close to it. I have one in my bathroom and one right here in the hall, of course. It's, I have to have the two of them going to really be able to smell it too much. But this scent was just so beautiful and I was so happy with how the wallflower performed when I first plugged it in. It's a really nice scent. I would definitely purchase this again. I just wish that sometimes with the wallflowers they could make it so that they they last all the way through. Um, the lighter scents or the not as strong scents, I have noticed that when they get to that halfway point. And you know, same thing with this Honeysuckle and Freesia. I used the wallflower. I got the wallflower first and I loved it so much I ran out and got the candle. The candle performed pretty poorly. If that review's not up, it will be up soon. I have it filmed already. It's just a matter of posting it. But I love this fragrance so much. The wallflower was beautiful. It threw really well. It was like a mid-thrower. But again, once it got to that halfway, you know, a little bit past halfway, it's just not as strong as it was. Would I purchase this fragrance again? Absolutely. Um, probably not this season just because we're closing in on summer. I'm going to finish up with my spring scents, but I definitely would try this one again next spring. And if they maybe reformulated the candle, I would try that too. And then, of course, Fresh Cut Lilacs. This one is a really strong throwing wallflower, and I believe I said that in the review of the candle and wallflower combo I posted for Mother's Day. If you want a strong floral fragrance, Fresh Cut Lilacs is it. Um, I have two, one in my entryway and one in my living room, and I can still smell them. One of them was going down a little bit quicker, so I swapped it out for a new one, and I could smell it immediately. I would say of the three wallflowers I used for the spring, this one I can still smell the most. Not as strong as it was when I first put them in. That's kind of how wallflowers are. But I know I'll be purchasing this one again next spring just because it's kind of tried and true and um, I really like the scent. So if you want a strong wallflower in a floral scent for spring or whatever, I would definitely try Fresh Cut Lilacs. So that's it for the wallflowers. I have left now our candles. And so let's dive into those. Some of these might be redundant because I do have reviews coming or reviews up of these already, but I want to dive into my most recent experience on them. So first and foremost, I have Honeysuckle. So this one, 
the throw on it was really, really, um, really nice throw. I, I was a little worried because the honeysuckle and freesia candle just did not throw and did not perform, but I didn't have any issues with this one until I got to like that, you know, quarter way mark. Um, my most recent burn on this really, um, I started to kind of smell that burnt type smell, that wax type scent. And, um, up until this most recent burn, I didn't have that issue. Even just taking the lid off this candle, I can smell the beautiful floral honeysuckle fragrance, which is kind of a bummer because I know when I light this one back up again, I'll be able to smell it, but it's going to have a little bit of that kind of waxy kind of scent. It's so far down now, I'm not going to exchange it. I will burn the rest of it. It's such a pretty scent, but... Um, you know, would I buy this one again? I don't know. I mean, maybe if they reformulated it, it's a beautiful scent, but I just really get bummed out when they perform that way near the end. So that was Honeysuckle. And then I also have, this was actually a Mother's Day gift for my mom. This was the best mom ever. I do have a review up of this one as well, but we have since burned it all the way down. And she said there was no performance issues on this at all. And I actually snagged this candle from her to do the review. And um, it threw like crazy. It is a really, really nice scent. No performance issues. And again, this one, at least from what she has said, is it burned all the way through. It didn't get that burnt wax wicky kind of smell. So. I kind of had a feeling fresh cut lilacs would burn that way anyways and perform well because it has for me in the past. And speaking of fresh cut lilacs, I love the scent so much, I wound up going out and exchanging one of my other candles for the new short version. I did not do a review on this one. I think I did an Instagram post just because I had the other fresh cut lilacs, but I did want to include it because I haven't burn this type of candle before and I wanted to kind of compare them. No performance issues. It burned, except for this one right here, did go out on its own. I had to kind of keep babysitting it when it was burning. But other than that, no performance issues. And if you guys haven't burned these ones, they are the same amount of wax in both of them. But the one interesting thing I did notice is that the standard size or the original size, I guess you could say, has a 25 to 45 hour burn time, whereas these new shorter versions actually have a 25, I think it's, yeah, 25 to 35 hour burn time. So did I time it and see how long it burned and if it was exactly the same as any of the other candles? No, I didn't notice much of a difference in the burn, but I just really liked the aesthetic of this and it burned really clean all the way through. You can see a little bit of sooting on the side because um, it's a white jar, so that will happen. But it burned clean all the way through, even down to the very, very, very last burn. It had that gorgeous lilac scent, super, super strong, which is what I love about this scent. And then, oh, we do have one more in here. Last but not least, since I was on a floral kick, I actually snagged one of the single wicks in lilac and the interesting thing is the notes on this are different than on the fresh cut lilacs they're a little bit different so the notes for regular lilac are lilac peony petals and green grass whereas fresh cut lilacs the notes are lilac bouquets dewy greens and soft spring air to me this is a little bit sweeter it could be because of the peony petals but i wouldn't really know too much because other than on cold I really can't smell it that much. Um, I know I've had Bath & Body Works single wicks in the past that have thrown. I had this in the bathroom and then in the bedroom. I thought because of a single wick, it would isolate it and I would be able to smell it. I really couldn't smell it that much, so I was kind of bummed, but I did keep it. I'm not going to exchange it just because it's such a pretty jar and I wanted to have a candle going in there. I could smell it a little bit, but it didn't even throw up, you know, uh, fill up the whole bathroom which, you know, was kind of a bummer, but um, I wanted to give it a try. I got this when they did that $5 email coupon promotion, so I grabbed this, and I did grab one other floral single wick. It was the, the astrological sign ones, and it was the lavender one. So I wanted to give the lavender a try, but I haven't been able to burn it yet, so I'll probably do a review on that at some other point in time. So you guys, that um, is all of my empties for the month. There are a couple other candles that I did burn this month that I do have reviews up on. 
but I threw them away, <laughs> so I don't have them with me. Um, but for the most part, this is this is the type of fragrances I have been burning. If you guys have used any of these soaps or wallflowers or candles from this past season, comment down below. I'm curious if you guys had the same feedback and experiences as I did. So you guys were already hitting the 15 minute mark. So before I sign off, if you guys do want to see that body care empties video, just let me know. Comment down below. I'll get that to you guys once I've used up all the products that I'm in the middle of using right now. And you guys, before I sign off, I want to let you know I am on Instagram. So come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H and the letter L. If you follow me, I will most certainly follow you back. And you guys, if you're still here, thank you for sticking with it through this haul. I know this is a little longer than my normal videos. So I'm going to sign off. And you guys, as always, I hope you're having an awesome day, an awesome evening, an awesome weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye, guys.